Joining me today on NYSE Floor Talk is George Burns. He is the president and CEO at El Dorado Gold. George, fantastic to have you here. Thanks for uh, joining me great today. To be here. So I want to start off by talking about El Dorado Gold. Tell me about the company. Yeah, we're a mid-cap gold producer, headquartered in Vancouver, BC. We've got four operating mines in Canada, Greece, and Turkey, and we have a fantastic development project underway in Greece. So tell me, how are you different from other mid-tier gold producers that are in this space? I mean, we're a solid mid-cap producer. We produce about 530,000 ounces of gold at an all-on sustaining cost this year of about $1,240 per ounce. So we've got great margins. What makes us unique to our peers is we have a fantastic copper gold development project in Greece. This project's about 73% constructed. And the amazing part is the copper byproduct from this project will pay all the operating sustaining costs. So the gold production is free cash flow. This is a 20 year mine life project. We'll have it into production in Q3 of next year and we'll have it in commercial production by the end of the year. So it's gonna generate an enormous amount of free cash flow. We'll be one of the lower cost producers in the gold mining business as a result of this asset. And our total production will be approaching a million ounces a year when you include the copper, the lead, zinc, silver, and the gold production, which is our primary product. So yeah, we're a high quality growth story well on our way to bringing in a really fantastic mine. The other thing about our Scurries project is it's a very environmentally friendly mine. It's both open pit and underground mining. Uh, we're deploying dry stack tailings. So after we remove the metals out of the rock, you end up with tailings. And in our case, we're investing in removing the water from the tailings. So we'll recycle the water and then we'll dry stack convey the tailings in a compacted facility uh, and it'll be safe, uh, no risk to a failure with this dry stack, dry stack tailings technology. So environmentally friendly project, 20 year mine life. Financially, it's gonna be a, a huge improvement in our bottom line. And as a result, our shareholders are gonna see a re-rate in our stock unfold over the next year and a half. So, once you bring on this growth, which you're expecting over the next year and a half, two years, let's say, um, what's after that? Well, I mean, we're a company that has a very strong balance sheet. We have 515 million cash on the balance sheet, and we have non-recourse project financing that's supporting 80% of the capital for the Scurries project. So we're gonna be in a position where we're growing uh, our cash balance while we're building the Scurries project. And so it puts us in a really good position to put a dividend in place in 20, 2026. We're also considering a share buyback next year with the excess cash that we'll have on the balance sheet. And fundamentally, we're gonna be generating a lot of free cash flow. So well, we have some high yield debt that terms out in 2029. So we'll have a focus on paying down that debt and then really focus on growing our business. So. We have another high quality project in Greece called the Parama Hill Project. Parama's in the permitting phase right now, but we're hopeful to have it permitted and ready to go into construction in 2027 after we've got the Scurries project completed. Beyond that, we have a number of high quality exploration projects in Canada, in Turkey, and in Greece where we operate. So we think we have a long runway of growth ahead of us. All right, well, George, it sounds like exciting times ahead for El Dorado Gold. Wonderful to talk with you today. Thanks for joining me on Floor Talk. It was great to be here with you. Thank you.